Hi, in Signbucker, all mails are sent via Salesforce. So Salesforce has, of course, some limitations on how to control who can actually send the emails. It's very important to realize that when sending emails, there are two steps, multiple steps in the process. So first of all, the, uh, the mail, the initial mail that is sent when a user clicks the button to send out the sign request, that's easy because this is directly done in the context of the Salesforce user. Now, somebody goes to the sign button page and actually signs the document, rejects the document, whatever, eh? but then mails have to be sent from the push that this sign button page gives to salesforce.com. And that is, of course, more difficult to uh, control because in that case, you are not anymore in the context of the initial user that sent out the document. So what can we do to control that? We have a process with multiple options. First of all, you can use the default from. The default from is actually filled in directly in the uh, sign request page and is set by default. So that means that it's always the context user. That means also that when you get a push from the sign request page, that uh, this default from will be the actual user that did the initial registration via the sign button admin page. That's in most cases not somebody that you want because that's going to be a system admin, a generic user, an automated process user. So most of the cases, that's not what you want. Next uh, option you have is, of course, saying, well, we're going to use a static uh, org wide email address. That is a great uh, story because then, for instance, you can say no reply or sign button or sales at uh, pdfbutter.com. So uh, a static o uh, email address can be linked to an organization-wide email address, can be linked to a certain uh, inbox, and then everybody, every mail will come to that inbox. But in that case, the mails do, do not come from nor go to the user that actually initiated the request. So if you want to say, well, I have a static OAD, uh, for instance, yeah, um, let's say, that you want to use the info at here, then that is perfect because yeah, that info at every mail will be sent from and to uh, a reply to to this info at uh, pdfbutter.com. Okay, now you're not using this uh, the, uh, the 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 user that initially sent out the email. So what other options do you have? Well, uh, you can of course go for a uh, not the default from. So you can switch off the static OA switch off the uh, default from, and then this box would appear that you have to enter an, uh, a data source to select the actual user you want to send it out from. So this has to be a user, for instance, uh, I can say, well, the uh, this is gonna be, let's say, <clears throat> maybe I go for Igor Stauber, but it can also be the owner, the, uh, the owner of the opportunity. Uh, of course, that would make more sense. So if you set the default from, yes, then it will take the context user, the current user that's logged on into Salesforce that launched the request for sign butler. If you say no, uh, then you have to for, uh, enter a data source, a data source that will select a user. Uh, that's very important. The data source has to select a user and that user can then be the, uh, the, the, the user that wants to send it out from. Okay, so now we have identified the context user. Uh, that's or the user that's logged into Salesforce or the user that is been uh, identified via the data source. If we know this context user, that user can be the same user as the current logged on user, but it can also be a different user. Salesforce does not allow that somebody sends out emails in the name of another user. That's not possible. So the only option that you have there is that for this context user, you have to create an org-wide address. So if your sales team has 10 people yeah, and you might have an SDR working in uh, sending out the sign requests, well, that SDR might say, well, I don't want to send it out in my name. So I don't want to be the logged on user, but I want to take the, uh, uh, the owner of the opportunity, for instance, then every person in your sales team is going to require an org wide address. So that means that uh, uh, salesperson one at 
yourcompany.com, salesperson2 at yourcompany.com. Everybody needs an org-wide address. That's an option, but of course, not very maintainable. So if you uh, don't want to do that because it's not maintainable, well, don't select this option, but just go for the current lockdown user or use a static OA. So every mail will be sent from the, uh, from the same user. So that's how you can control the, uh, uh, the user that's initially going to send out the emails when you click the button, when you launch the request. Next up is, of course, what happens now if automated mails have to be sent? So I'm on the signing page and actually on the signing page, I sign the document and now the next signer has to be notified or I need a download mail to be uh, received. How do we decide on in that case who's going to be the user that sends out the, uh, uh, the email? Same problem here. Salesforce does not allow to just use any from user in the email. It has to be controlled in the ways that Salesforce allows it. So first step is, of course, again, use the static OA. That's going to be the easiest every time. If you just have sales at your company dot com, then that uh, mail will always come from the sales at, com at your company dot com email address. And that's fine. So that's the easiest way to set it up. Next up is that you say, well, I'm going to, I don't want to have an OA, so I'm just going to uh, do something from the from address, uh, select the from address, and I'm going to uh, see who's my context user. The context user can again be identified via this uh, uh, data source here. So in that case, it will say, ah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to come from an opportunity. The opportunity owner is a certain person. And that opportunity owner, I'm going to uh, select via the data source here. Again, if that's the case, then everyone would require an OA. So if you, are, if you have a sales team of 10 people, everybody in that sales team needs an OA to, be, uh, to make sure that you can send out the email automatically. Now, let's say you don't want this OA. Eh? I want to do it in a different way. I want the actual user that clicked the button to send it out that that user is always used to also send uh, all the, uh, the other mails, like the download mail, the next signer email, all of those, the reject email, the revoke emails, whatever. That user will always have to be the user that actually initiated the, the, the context. So in that case, of, or I mean launch the request, in that case, you can use what we call the user admin. So that just means that your sales users do not need an OA. Everybody does not need an OA, but they need to go to the user admin tab one time and click this button, send request. When that button is clicked, then we can uh, actually say now, uh, that's uh, what Salesforce allows us as an ISV to do. Uh, now we can use the actual user, the, uh, the, the user that initiated the, con uh, the, uh, the launch, that initiated the sign request to send out all of the subsequent emails as well. So that's a small step. It just takes five seconds. And it's super easy. It can't break. And that's the only thing you have to ask to every salesperson to do that. So when that is done, then that user eh, can every time be used to send out any other emails that have to be done. So what options do we have? Use, we use a static OA. We uh, uh, create an OA per salesperson, so per owner of the uh, opportunity, but that takes a lot of maintenance, of course. Or we have our salesperson uh, clicking this button, user admin once, and then uh, that is done. And then we can use, we can send out emails in the context of this salesperson. So that uh, wraps it up, actually. That's all of the options we have. And this way you can perfectly choose how to uh, control the uh, the uh, the email from address in your sign butter uh, emails.